Good day, one and all, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 with Lady Top Hat and Sir Top Hat drinking bubblies. In the first episode, I showed you the tutorial, which was a bit boring. Uh, we then used the uh, Ruler Creator DLC to create Lady Top Hat, Earl of... Literally, Lady Top Hat. <laughs> Uh, the Earl of um, somewhere near to Ulster. And um, we've set up our council. And we even got married. We, we yeah, made, you got married, yeah. We made a, a marriage to um, to the to Knud. To Knud of Denmark. Knud of Denmark. Load. Uh, the only way, the only reason you got this marriage is, as I said, he's probably going to be second or third or fourth in line. So he didn't have much of a choice. Which is why he took on your family name. Wait, right? we got a Knud. We got a Knud. Knud <laughs> needs to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Language. <laughs> I never swear in my Let's Plays. Well, not, no. not much anyway. Right. Could we? Could you do me the favor? Yes. And uh, and, and put that oh, map yes. mode on yes, because you're I, right. do, I, I feel very triggered if there it's not go. on. <laughs> there we go. Right. Um. Yeah, so you set everything in motion. Everything is set up. If I go to, um, where is it? Diplomatic Relations, you can see that we own one county. Um, and we have set everything in motion to expand. Could, I, could we have that playing, please, the timer? Oh, yes, of course. Thank you. Uh, we've set things in motion with the councillors to try and expand our sphere of influence. And even more... Yes. Now, now, since I restarted the game, the music's back. Very good. So there were three episodes with no music. I have no idea why. Right. Now, um, set up hat. We're going to play... So William of Normandy, by the way, has now invaded England. Oh. 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 So if we could see, we would probably see that there's a Norwegian army here, and there's an English army there, and Sir William of Normandy has just crossed the channel. So this is all going to play out as we play. For real. For real, and we don't know how, what's going to happen. Her, Harold might just defend England, or William might just conquer England, or even the Norwegian king, he might just conquer England. We will only know if we observe. Fantastic. Isn't it? Isn't it marvellous? We yes. see history unfold. Look at this. Count Godfrey of Man is raising his fleet. Well, as long as he doesn't come and, and take over the island, everything's fine. I think the Scots will not, not um, do anything against you whilst the Norwegians and the Normans are rampaging through England. Well, let's have a quick look at the other things that we have here. We've done the council. Laws. We can change laws of succession. I'm going to get rid of that hint. So, um, inheritance laws. Uh, this is where you can change if your uh, males will inherit or females will inherit, all that kind of thing. Uh, but I can't change things because I haven't reigned for at least 10 years right now. Right now, you, you, your laws are that first the man inherits. If there's no eligible man, then an eligible woman inherits. And then they split, yeah. which is indicated by gavel kind. So it's not one takes all right now. It's everybody gets a happy share. Yeah. Uh, realm obligations. Yes, we won't go through that. Okay, technology. Uh, with this menu, you can decide what your uh, what you will be researching or what you will be improving. So uh, we have military advances, econ economy advances, and culture advances. And um, this can stay as it is right now. Military. This is where we would raise an army. If and when the need arose. Yes. Right now, we need to... You do actually have to have... Or maybe you know the Latin. Uh, just cause uh, to go to war. <laughs> you have uh, a, a claim. Um, it's something... Casus belli. That's the one. <laughs> Has B's and L's in it. Blilly. <laughs> You have a casus spelly. Yeah. You need to have a just cause to go to war. So this is what our dude's doing. Did you learn here. that yesterday when you looked up uh, this internet uh, video? Because casus spelly is not very good, well explained in this game. It was explained in the tutorial, actually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, not the one I showed you, not the tutor sh very short tutorial I showed you, but in the, um, in the tutorial I actually played to its uh, conclusion, uh, that is explained. I just yeah. don't remember the, the, how to pronounce it. Um, yeah, so if we were going to raise an army, we'd do it here. What else do we have? Intrigue. Um, go away, hints. So what we can do is um, set things up. We could promote a commander. We could invite a holy man to court. Invite a noble to court. Etc. Etc. Uh, we could hold a summer fair. <laughs> hold a feast. This, by the way, changes according to, to what time it is in the year. So if it was in the winter, it would be hold a feast where you can uh, invite all your vassals. And... Hmm. So. And also, if you click on click to choose a plot, you could just kill all the things. <laughs> They will present to you some some uh, very important figures that may or may not have to die. I think I want some more nobles in my court. Do you advise against that? I see no reason until you give me a reason. I well, I noticed when I played uh, another game that I never had enough people in the court. I got I had loads and loads of titles that I could award. But right now, and not enough people. But to right now, to. you have one county. Your council is full. Yeah. Right now, you don't need a new noble. All right. I wouldn't say so, at least. Oh! A young noblewoman who has caught your eye makes her debut as a, as a formal ball. Do you think that they didn't get the gender switch uh, f <laughs> fully worked into the... <laughs> I don't know. But I think you're doing fine right now. I don't think you need to do any of this because uh, right. you're not suffering from any uh, shortage Fa of, of characters right now. Factions... We haven't got any because we're just one uh, county. Religion, or of the Catholic faith, go away. Head of the uh, Catholic faith is this dude, and um, we have our bishop is in place. Bishop Falchio. Falchio. Sounds a bit like Falco. Falchio. 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 Who is this Falco? I don't know. I only know Baron Topper. Right. Uh, so that was those. Um, explained in a very drunken fashion. <laughs> Hello! So how about we um, go out, set the thing running, add a bit of speed. And don't forget, now William of Normandy is doing his thing. What is he doing? Well, he, he's sieging London right now. How far did he get? Well, in to London right now. In reality. In, in reality, he got to Kent, and then he was met by Harold, and then Harold died on the battlefield right against him. After he... After he defeated this guy, the Norwegian king, in an amazing victory. Wow. So if he didn't, ha if Harold didn't have to fight both, he would have won. But yeah, this is probably this is probably in William of Normandy sieging London right now. Yeah, Duke William II of Normandy is besieging. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Um, so whilst uh, Sir Top Hat was explaining a bit of real history, um, la Lady Countess. Uh, was feeling a bit unwell. Now she, the morning has come. Is it Lady Countess or Countess Lady in this case? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to make them up each time. <laughs> um, and now she's she's rejoicing that she is actually alive. Splendid. So he seemingly lost a, a fight. He's not sieging London anymore. No, but you don't see who he where he is because well we don't have omniscience. No, but the Norwegians but, but are still no... yeah the Norwegians this must be Norwegians. They are still sieging this county. Yeah, so if there was a um, uh, this thing, then there would you would know that there was a siege happening. Right, uh, Lady Countess Tophat grows more and more impatient with <laughs> Chancellor Dunschlieb. His slothfulness makes him go to extreme lengths to avoid having to do any actual work. That reminds me of someone at work today. Um, <laughs> give him a stern talking to, one last chance, or throw him in the brig. Hmm. Out the airlock. <laughs> um, you should c hover over each option to see oh, what the consequences are. Consequences. Nothing. 25% chance. Mm. Doesn't tell me. So oh. if you if you take option number 1, a new event will fire. Yeah. If you take option number 2, you get the chance that you actually take over his trade of being slothful. And if you take option number 3, if you could hover about it again, um, that means that he's definitely going to jail 
and his career is over. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know either. What That's you, no. What do you advise? Uh, now I, I would. Call, I would. I would I try call to give him Sir Top Hat's advisor capacity. I, Lady Top, or uh, Lady Lady Top Hat. <laughs> I would advise giving a stern talking to. He can still then decide whether he wants to fa- ship up. Oh, oh, oh. What, what do you call? Shape up. Shape up or ship, ship out. out. Right. Yeah. Chancellor, shape up or ship out. There's a stern talking to. <laughs> now. Hmm. When I had finished talking sternly, I didn't really expect him to talk back, but the <laughs> anger that filled him was vented immediately. I ignored it and left him barely able to speak because of his anger. So he now hates you a bit more for two years, but you, you had it coming. That's the only consequence. Yeah. That's good. I like that kind of brewing anger. Two years of hatred. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, they're coming to defend England, probably. Count Godfrey of Man. I guess that the Scottish are defending. Could you pause for a second, my dear wife? Certainly. Um, please click on Middlesex. Middlesex. And look at the wars, the two wars that he's fighting. These two wars there. So he's defending against Duke William the Bastard. And right now he's f- leading by 47%. So he must have had a battle here in Middlesex. Okay. You, you remember when we saw yep. that happening. So he must have slain his army. So I think you do not need to ca- uh, care about William anymore. I think William is done. What about mm. the other war? Against King Hadrare. So he, had, he did not have a battle yet against King Hadrare of no. Norway. So, so well, things might still happen. My, my guess is that the English king is about here. And he's moving towards the Yo. Norwegian king. And I think... William has been slain. I think there will be no, no Norman England. Ooh, yeah. very interesting. So this is, guy, by the way, guys, I'm just say, telling this. This is how Crucial the Kings 2 works. You really see actual history unfold, but with new possibilities. Right, well, I think we need to press play and get things moving. Yeah, I mean, you need to whip your Chancellor then, because you don't have any claim to anything right now. Whip my... what? So I... Hang on. I, I meant that figuratively because you, you you have you have a really crappy chancellor. I mean, this is the one you just had a fight with. Okay. But so. he's really crappy. Try yeah, try clicking a point. Yeah, you have a better one. If you if you if you're alright with pissing your other chancellor off. <laughs> well, he he look at him. I would piss him off. So he's um. He's four points better at chancelloring. <laughs> But he, is he, he's already a commander. He can be both. Okay. Mm. So both of those are far better than the Chancellor you have right now. What's this trait? Marshal 8 to 4, 7 to 8, 4 to Perhaps you should pre- maybe use uh, Dobchen, um, because he will probably not see action on the field because of his Marshal yeah. thing. So you could make him Chancellor. And then your, your, your chances to actually fabricate a claim would rise. He's an indulgent wastrel. <laughs> that applies to all Irish people. <laughs> 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 or an underhanded rogue. No, I don't want that, that him as my chancellor. I think an indulgent wastrel is far better. Yes. Uh, you. Be chancellor. You're now my chancellor. Now please let him fabricate a claim again where he just was. Fabricate claim. And now it's start Fabri- from from yeah. <laughs> now it's eight percent instead of four point eighty a year. Yeah, that's so now better. you have a better chancellor. Yes, much better. Right. So now I think everything that's left to do is to just let it play out. Let it go. And let history Tell go. Tommy Oh, there's fights happening in England. There are. What's happening? Let's have a look. What's happening in England right now? York. Uh, more more troops are being shipped to England. Ooh, Derby. My liege, my network of spies here in Ergiela found out that a local noble is a homosexual. What should I do with this information? Have sex with him, of course. <laughs> Your humble spy master. Blackmail him. Well, now, this is... Uh, yes, so I don't like to do this because... Then nothing let it be. If you have no reason. Um... Well, the thing is, is that I want to invade all the things. Yeah, your spy game. master it has nothing to do with uh, invading, so... Mm. So he's in this country. Well, could we use it to gain this country? 
No, you could use it to, to prevent him from joining any alliances against you. Like, dude, you remember that dick last week? You, pr you sh probably shouldn't raise your army against me. But it will not help you directly right now into getting uh, the well, other country that you are plotting for. Well, I want that one and that one. Yes, just letting... I would advise... Letting it be. Letting it be. That's awesome. That even aligns with my real life views. Okay. Let it be. And here we have the time passing. Yes. Time is passing. Right. Prince Knud of Denmark claims that he would be a better steward than Mayo Thingy and petitions <laughs> that he should be given the title of steward. Oh, good grief. Uh, right, let's have a look at you chaps. So his, your steward has eight. Now, if you click on his portrait, left click, he has ten. So he is the better steward by definition. He's also your husband. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, now, what's... Um... He's a mayor. He's going to be pissed if you release him. He's probably going to stop paying your taxes if you remove him right now. Um... But you got a few options. You can either replace him immediately, or you could say, give him a chance, which takes one year, and gives your steward the chance to improve his skill in this one year. Or you say, I rule in the county of Ulet. You, my husband, have nothing to say. Shut the fuck up. Your steward will stay in place, and your, your husband will be pissed. Uh, we're going to give him a chance, then. That's probably <laughs> the, the, the most easiest thing to keep everyone... Um... As, as reasonably happy as possible. Right. My liege! Since I arrived in Luz, there's never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troops stationed there. Under our guidance, they believe fame and fortune awaits them. Your humble Martian. M Martian? <laughs> Martian. Your humble Martian! This is why I shouldn't drink unless <laughs> I can't do it. Your humble Martian! Oh, humble bah, Martian! Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Your humble marshal. Yeah, can. Let us hope so. <laughs> well, we're one year into the game already, and I think it's, things are still going on in England there. My liege, uh, yes. my network of spies here in Agala have found out that a local noble is a homosexual. <laughs> Again! Nothing! There's lots of homosexuals in that uh, Agala thing. Let it be! Right, now what's happening oh, look, in England? I think the oh. Norwegians have uh, successfully sieged uh, Devon. No, Derby. 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 Oh, the Norwegians have taken Derby. Oh, it seems like England may fall to the Norwegians' buns. It may become Viking. Awesome. We'll see that. Oh, oh, oh Wales oh, is falling oh, as well. Oh, oh, oh. yes, Wales Divid. is falling. I promised Prince <laughs> Knud of Denmark that he had a chance to become steward. <laughs> now he is petitioning me. But this is. <laughs> <laughs> Swearing and drinking. I can't <laughs> speak. You're now in the Middle Ages. <laughs> lady, lady, top hat. And in Ireland. And in Ireland. You're not going to have to live with it. Slant you. <laughs> Very good. Uh, now well, it's he's been petitioning a year. me again about it. All right, then. You're now my new steward. After you click that, I will press pause because you're gonna to need to give him a new. Uh, yeah, now you have to. Uh, so your mayor is now pissed back in his barony. Um, you're gonna to have to give him a new job. What you said before, you you want him to to collect taxes in your home county. Your husband. Right, steward Prince Knud. <laughs> collect taxes, oversee construction. The only viable thing really is taxes right now. Collect some taxes there, husband. And there's nothing much for you to do other than that. Uh, uh, whereas we might, might just, you know, get the pom-poms going and, and uh, cheer for either uh, King Haradre or King Harold. Who, who's going to have England? Well, what about... Um, uh, now, where is it? Um... What happens to the guy who just got fired? Oh, yeah, he's, here he's, he he's is. Back, he's no, he, no, go back to Vassals. Here he is. He's now pissed at you. This one? No, that's a bishop. Him? Him. 
He, he's Carrick of Carrick Fergus. <laughs> you know Carrick Fergus. I do know Carrick Fergus. I've been there. Yes. So you can bribe him by either awarding him an honorary title or giving him money or just letting him be because he cannot rise against you. Um. Ooh. What titles can we give him? I would not give him designated regents. <laughs> no. How about cupbearer? <laughs> Sounds good. You can test, test, take, test my drinks <laughs> and see if they're poisoned. There you go. It's a great honour. There. Become cupbearer. There. Right. His opinion will also rise uh, with time. Yeah. Again. But we'll just we'll placate him. Yeah. And when you're just lucky that your bishop really likes you. He likes you more than he likes the Pope, which means instead of paying the Pope, he's paying you. That's bloody marvellous. Isn't it? In it. In it. Right, go. Care of Carrick Fergus. <laughs> Let's see if we can get any any events occurring in this last pause. Let's see what's happening in England. I think the Norwegians oh, are... Oh my god, and look at this. London taken, is under siege again. They've taken Somerset. Yeah. Who Who is sieging London? Can you click? Londonium. No, that's Essex. Oh. No, Oops. London. Yes. No. Oh my god! Oh Who's sieging London? Oh. oh my god! No, that's yeah, Essex! That's Essex! Stop it! <laughs> no, click on something! Just click on them! Yeah! Oh my god! Click on it! Okay. Well, they, I don't know who's sieging, but it's still. Can you pause, please? I'm sorry. Can you look through the two walls again? Okay, Harold is still winning against William, so I think William is out. But Harald of Norway is 21% in favor of King Harald. Ooh. So indeed, this is all Norwegian. The Norwegians are sieging down England buns. Fantastic. Look, there's Newport. Yes. There's, there's no, no city finer. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know either. Thanks, you Wikipedia. And David is under attack. Okay. Right. Bam. Well, no. No. Because that is the end of that episode. Oh, mm, mm. uh, 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 my exactly. Um, England is... Uh, our neighbour is um, under attack from, from two sides by Normandy and Norway. I think... Oh, look, they took London now. Yeah, they've... Norway has taken London. <gasps> Derby, London, Somerset... Oh, and up here. Yeah. Uh, that's... Um, Chester. Chester, oh, very fine. I, 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 I give a. If I may give a prediction, my prediction is that within the next two years, I hope we see that in this let's play. I think England will suddenly turn into Norway. <laughs> that would be very amusing. It, it is an historical po opportunity. Yes. Right. Well. Well. Um, what did we do this episode? I've already forgotten. I think we basically just talked shite and then watched England burn to pieces. Thank you. Um, we also had a lot of trouble with your chancellor. Exactly. What your we steward. did, what we did, is we replaced a couple of councillors. Um, <laughs> this is you're in the sensible let's play channel now. I'm fine now. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just thinking about how it would end up on my channel. It would be the same thing because there's so many details you have to care about. Yeah. So it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so we re we uh, fired a couple of people. The um, husband is now working as the steward because apparently that was promised to him. So you've got to keep the husband happy. And um, w meanwhile, we've just been sitting back whilst all the, the councillors do the work and watch uh, England fall to Norway, <laughs> which is quite interesting. Yeah. So join us in the next exciting episode. For now, though, we bid you a fond farewell. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. And a tally ho. Well, that was smooth. <laughs>